right guys so <clears throat> this is going to be the next project i got going on um this is for uh one of the teams i'm also sponsoring this is a uh, gonna be a couple of race heads that they got going on steve steve is the shit these are for you um <clears throat> so i'm gonna start on these today i'm gonna weld them up <clears throat> and uh you finally got put into the rotation it's finally your turn so we're gonna get to welding these up today shaping them up and seeing if we can at least get the combustion chambers done so uh next you'll see me we'll be out in the shop <clears throat> all right guys so here we are we're out in the shop we got the two uh cylinder heads out here um so my first step is going to be uh go over them with the grinder um with the sand roll take all of the uh, uh rough look off the cast go through them clean them up acetone them a little bit of preheat in them and then i'll get to welding them so let me uh go ahead and clean these up and i'll get back to you So that was a 36 grit. <clears throat> I am going to switch over to a quarter inch fine grit. Probably a hundred grit. So now that that's done, we'll take and we'll wipe these down with some acetone. acetone just removes any type of oils or anything like that that's on the surface anything that the uh, when you rip that top layer off you're removing all the oxidation so you wipe it down with acetone to just remove anything that's left over all right so now we're ready to start welding so those heads have been heating up for a couple minutes now I'm gonna take a good number of welding rods Give them a give them a clean up. Just take the scotch brite, run it over the welding rods, give them a little roll with your finger, so you can get all the different sides of them. You're just looking for them to turn that dull aluminum color. After you're done wiping them down, I know I've showed this before in a ton of videos, almost every one. Wipe down the welding rods. Just check the head temp. Now we can start welding these heads. Time to rock and roll.
All right, so we got the one head done now, full of weld. I'm um, not gonna do the same process over and film that, but um, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this with weld. Um, that's probably all I'm gonna get done today. It's about 4.15 now. Um, so I'll fill this up with weld. Maybe I'll grind them down flush, who knows. Uh, see how I feel. I got a slight headache right now, so I'll grind these. Well, I'll fill this with weld, um, and then tomorrow I'll uh, get to shaping them. But for you, it'll be instantly. So let me get back to it, weld this up, and uh, I'll get back to you. So I just got finished welding up the other one. So we got them both welded up. Um, Porosity is coming out a whole lot better. Uh, this video will probably just start right back up, but it'll be the next day. So uh, till then. So these are those heads right now after I've cleaned them up on the belt sander. Looking pretty good. Porosity is at like an all-time low. Um, and uh, next step is going to be um, radiusing the bowls. After the bowls are radiused, um, shaping around the spark plug. <clears throat> um, and then uh, putting it on the uh, flow bench with the smoke to refine the cylinder shape. Um, after the cylinder shape is dialed in, I can put the guides in. Actually, I would take the guides out, do the porting, put the guides in, and then do the seats. Um, so, next step right now is to uh, start the chamber shaping. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. All right guys, so uh, we're out in the shop again. Um, just doing a little bit of work. Uh, what I had just finished up on was um, doing the combustion chambers on these heads. They're slightly different in this area. Um, you know, was working them on the flow bench. <clears throat> and uh, this one here, I kind of just eased this edge and didn't have to bring it out that much. But this one here, I kind of had to swoop it a little bit more. I don't know what that was all about. Um, I don't know if it was the slight variation in here. You can see this wall is about... I don't know. Maybe there isn't really a difference in there. Maybe this area here looks just slightly bigger here. I don't know maybe if that affected the flow, but had to, uh, I mean, they both flow great. They both have great cylinder fill now. Um, so I'll probably post this video now. It came out rather nice. Um, these are Steve's. So uh, I'll probably post this now because I got to uh, bang the guides out, do the port in next. It's been a few days. I've been working on these two days now. So I'll bang the guides out. This might even be the third day. But next step is going to be take the guides out, do the porting, put the guides in, do the valves, seats, um, uh, do a final check, and then send it out to get milled. After it gets milled, come back, do the final polishing and clean up, uh, lap the valves in, do the final head assembly, and then out they'll go. Um, I CC'd the heads. Well, I CC'd this head. And before milling, it was at 30 cc's. This might be at 31, 32. So, just wanted to stop real quick and CC the head. Um, <clears throat> 70, my 100 minus 70 is 30. So, this is going on a 460. <clears throat> so, uh, as of right now, it's got 30 cc's in the head. Um, definitely has a little bit of a variation in the chamber. Um, has the same effect on cylinder fill, so it's kind of weird. It's just, you know, like I said, everything is a learning, changing experience. But um, So, uh, CC'd the heads. We're around 30. So the rest will just take off with milling uh, now that they got their final shape. And... Uh, yeah, so probably looking for around 13 to 1 compression ratio on these engines, so uh, anywhere a little bit over 12.75 to 1. So, till next time guys, this is Paul from Paul's Carts, have a nice day.